Hi everyone, today we're going to go over on how to do the Open Skies, the Desert Highlands collection. So if you had tuned in, I did a part one and a part two. Part one was just on how to get started, how to get the Open Skies achievements. I'll have a link to the video in the description below. The next video was the Crystal Oasis collection, and now we're doing Desert Highlands. So we're going to go through in order how to complete each one of these items. The first one is Zaklum, the Room of Loyalty, and that is by completing the event where I am right here. So to give you an idea, we're in the Desert Highlands map. This is your map border waypoint, and you can see the trail leading me to this point of interest. So two pre-events. The first pre-event is doing an offense event here at Divner's Reach. So you'll just get a bunch of awaken, defend, blah, blah, blah. And then off to the corner of Divner's Reach, you'll have second Spear Nerum. She's going to have an escort event that leads you to where I am. And then you'll have a second defense event. Complete that event and then you'll have a champion. Once you do the champion, then, um, and you can see right there. Nope. Every predator in this yep, there's the escort right there. She's on her way. So when she gets here, it's going to trigger a third event, which is a defense. Um, and then you do the champion and then you get an event chest. I hope that was kind of easy peasy, a little clear. Um, then we need to do our next item. Just gonna quickly pull it up. Enormous supply of bird feed. So we're gonna purchase this one, um, 25 gold. And uh, we are purchasing it from Grofbach, who is there, a heart. Just ahead. So let's, oh, that's let's go to him. So we are going to, I believe, yeah, I think it's this high jump ranch waypoint. It is Come not on, the high jump. As soon as I clicked it, I knew I was wrong. We want to do, yeah, level crawl waypoint. <laughs> I knew I was wrong. I even have notes here. I have like two pages of notes and I just read them. So you want to do the heart here and further down. Once you complete the heart, then you're able to uh, purchase from the vendor. And there he is right there. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> All right. What else is next? Survival supplies. I almost said skills. I was like, yeah, survival um whoops helps if we can spell all right so bible supply so you're also going to purchase this from a heart bender actually it's back here at devoner's reach i keep wanting to say um oh goodness i just crossed my mind divinity's reach um out of old habit. Okay, so you have to complete the heart here and then you're able to purchase your survival supplies. Then we're on to the eggs. So um, I'm not gonna pop this open every time for the eggs. Can water out um, of even so these then things. you have these three. But it's this you work. get just from sure when you uh, unlock the collection. And now we need to get five gate. eggs. Okay, so the first egg is the Warmed Mountain Griffin Egg. So this is at um, the Roost. So we're gonna over here, the Griffin Roost. So this is where we need to go. And you'll be using your Springer a lot. I think in a lot of cases, when it comes to these, you will be, because we need to climb some hills. As you can see the vent right there. That's the one you want to do. You want a good 10 people for that event. 
I made the mistake of going, oh, it's just an escort, and kicked off the event in Dibner's reach. And then someone's like, um, there's only two of us. Uh, thankfully, I was able to throw up a mentor tag and then do a looking for group, and we had more than enough uh, people to do it. I think there's a lot of people eager to do the Griffin stuff, so. It wasn't long getting people in. Okay. Oh, I need to switch. <laughs> there we go. This has happened too many times. I need to key bind these mounds. It's been like on my to-do list, but... All my keys are already like assigned. I was able to give up one key for just like mounting. So I've decided the most I've been eyeing. Oh, okay, yeah, we actually want to go over here a little bit. Just be a little easier. I got eager and started jumping away. How did I do this last time? I literally just did this. Nothing like doing a video when it looks like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I have the achievement, I swear. It's just, it's, it was harder to get up last time, so. You want to cross the bridge. I just remembered the bridge. Yeah, there we go. I just couldn't get up on the mountain itself. Maybe you can. We're not all talented. There we go. There is your first egg. And this is a roost, so there is a griffin for you. Um, next, we want to go to the Godfall Tower point of interest, and we're going to use this griffin. So just to give you an idea of where we're going, there is the Godfall Tower point of interest. So we just want to head in that direction. Which I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see the pillars. gonna be another one just like in my first video where I had a really bad landing and then struggled with the springer it's the exact same scenario it's like I can't land this thing maybe it'll be easier once I've had one for a while but um... okay there we go I was gonna say Oh my goodness, I landed on it. That's impressive. So it's tiny, but it's there. It's it's easier to notice when you haven't got it because it will highlight and interact with you, but not for me. Now we want to go to the high jump ranch waypoint. I got a little eager before. So that was your crusty mountain griffin egg, and now we're doing our rough mountain griffin egg. Maybe if I had a springer, I could jump up there and knock it loose. Okay, we are going to head towards Windshear... I think it's like Scarps? We're down over here. Yeah, Scarps. And we're heading um, towards the Giant Steps point of interest. So just to give you a little bit of reference, we're heading um, south and a little to the west. Uh, and it's a little to the west of um, this point of interest, that big square. <laughs> I was like trying to think, I'm like, what shape is that? Oh my goodness, you know you need sleep when. This video is gonna be horrible, but informative at the same time. <laughs> Where are we going? Not that way. I think we're going the right way right now. We're not going the right way now. <laughs> In a matter of seconds. There we go. I'm gonna lose my amount. This is what happens when you're being a little bit of a noob. It might be painful, but we'll get there. 
We're on the other side of this friggin' GD mountain. Story of my life. Not being able to mount. One moment, please. I was gonna... I'm surprised it hasn't come up yet. We're having slight technical difficulties. I need to be on the other side. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, this is actually where I went last time. I think I was struggling to get up here last time, and it was right here at this little white groove that actually allowed me to get up. I said a hip, a hop. I'm just, I'm gonna stop right there. See my views massively decline. <laughs> There we go, we made it. So this is the Rough Mountain Griffin Egg. And now we are gonna do the Vibrant Mountain Griffin Egg. This is south of High Jump Gap Point of Interest. And we're gonna basically head east from here and slightly up. I believe this is, so this is your High Jump Gap Point of Interest. And we're heading directly south from here. So I have a personal waypoint to kind of remind myself how I got there. Because I struggled with this one looking everywhere. Alright, so we're going to head towards that point of interest. But just a little bit further down. You're gonna need your Springer as well. I feel like that's kind of a given at this point. I should just stop. <laughs> but we're gonna be up on kind of like a squarish type. Whoops, I'm not paying attention. We're gonna start our climb over here. So I am kind of going in the wrong way, but I just want to get up. Go, bunny. Yeah, there you go. We want on top of this rock over here. <clears throat> and you will get attacked. <laughs> there isn't a way to gracefully get up here and not. So this here is where you want to be. Casually jump down. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's the vibrant mountain griffin egg, and we just have one more. So the damp mountain griffin egg. So this one here, we're gonna head over to the um, Delric Delve Waypoint. If I pronounce that even remotely close, I can't even pronounce pronounce <laughs> wow. pronounce everyday English words so just to give you an idea we're kind of just going around but we're our aim is to head down to the south of the map and there's two vistas here we want to go south of this vista and we're actually going to go right on the edge. If you remember from the first video how the last egg was kind of over the edge of a cliff, it's the similar thing for this one as well. But don't worry, we'll get there. I'll show you. If, if you stay tuned at, to this point, we'll make it.
heading towards that vista. get a little close so we're gonna go down even further oh I wish I had my I was gonna say oh, that we're not making that okay so you can tell we're below this vista but we're gonna keep going and I believe there's another ledge down here there we go right here. There is your last griffin egg. Now, something I didn't show in the last video, I showed the grant the wish, but once you're done each map, you can uh, teleport back and lay your items down right then and there. So you can wait till the end if you want, or as you can see, I've already laid both of them. So you just have a little symbol above it and you just interact. So I have one for each map. And then I believe I went over here. Oh yeah, that gives you another. But yeah, I was able to lay some eggs in the nest. So that's what you're gonna be doing is laying. Oh, see, look, I missed, I missed the eggs from the second map. There you go. So not only can you come back and get a griffin, but you can start placing your items because another one of your um, collections, this guy. So this one opens up um, to you. I think it was when I finished my first uh, set of collections. When I finished the Crystal Oasis, I think this opened up for me. And it's kind of tracking as I'm laying stuff down here. And eventually I need to place all the griffin eggs that I've collected from every single collection. Um, the relics. The relics are what you're putting down here. And I had a bit of a minor moment because once I finished my Crystal Oasis collection, I'm like, okay, it's done. I'm going to double click the items that I bought and just get the karma. And then I panicked because I realized you have to take the runes and place them here but the things you're buying aren't the runes um it's the legendary um bounty and the event that one was your rune so thankfully those ones cannot just be they're not going anywhere you can't double click for karma see this one here you can get some trade contracts but this is the actual rune it's just going to hang out until you place it. Thankfully, I was worrying that I was going to have to go and spend another 75 gold repurchasing some of the stuff I'd already done. But that's it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. And if you like to give a like, if you want to reach out, have questions or just talk, feel free to uh, put a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thanks so much, guys.